Hi everyone, welcome to the Memory Recall video episode 4 of Pononia Criminology Tutorial and Review Center. So today we will touch subsidiary penalty. Okay, first thing, remember that subsidiary penalty or imprisonment is only applicable to criminal penalty and not to the civil liability. So remember, Article 100 of the Revised Penal Code, it says there that criminal liability comes with it the civil liability. Okay, civil liability ex delito. But uh, subsidiary imprisonment is only applicable to the criminal liability. So it, it the civil liability will not be converted into the criminal into the subsidiary imprisonment if the convict is insolvent. Another one is the subsidiary penalty or imprisonment is only applicable if the convict cannot pay no no property or really insolvent individual. So walang pera, walang property, hindi makapay ng uh, fine. So that's the this is the solution to that subsidiary penalty or imprisonment. However, this can only be um, applicable or the fine can only be converted to imprisonment if the judge um, states in the in the conviction. And also, the law says that it this will not be an excuse if the economic condition of the convict will improve. So if um, the, that time comes, then he or she still need to pay for the fine to the victim. Okay, so let's go. For first, remember also that the subsidiary um, imprisonment is applicable only to the fine of correct person correctional up to the um, principal penalty of person correctional. So for example, uh, the judge imposes a penalty of person Pression correctional and a fine of 50,000 pesos. So if it can be um, it can be found out that the convict cannot really pay because he's insolvent, then the 50,000 pesos will be converted into imprisonment. So this is the concept of subsidiary penalty. So how will it be converted? Um, one day is equivalent to the highest minimum wage. So if we have the highest minimum wage of 600 pesos today so 600 the 50000 will be divided to 60 because that uh, 600 because that will be for per day however the law says also the rpc article 39 that in no case shall it exceed one third of the term of the sentence and in no case shall it continue for more than one year so if the conversion is will be for more than one year uh, the law says that the convict will only serve up to one year. And if the conversion exceeds one third of the term of the sentence, then the convict will only serve up to the one third. And if the judge uh, imposes a penalty of a fine only, then uh, in no case that the convict will serve more than six months if the crime is under grave or less grave felony. And if the... Um, crime is for light felony, then only up to the 15 days. Okay, so as a recap, remember that subsidiary imprisonment is only applicable up to the person correctional. Okay, so if the penalty is person temporal, then um, the fine attached to that will not be converted to subsidiary imprisonment because the losses is up to person correctional. So what will happen? So if there's no really no property, cannot really pay, then um, the convict cannot be compelled to serve the fine or convert the fine into the imprisonment. So what's going to happen? So the convict will be released, but also subject again, if the economic condition will improve, then he or she should pay for that. So yeah, this is for subsidiary penalty or imprisonment. Thank you for watching and see you on our next video. Thank you.